So Donald Trump is being mocked by nearly the entire internet this afternoon because he continues to peddle lies and delusions about the 2020 election. Just this afternoon, this morning and afternoon, he put out a press release basically saying that the National Guard needs to be called into Arizona because the Republican Party in Arizona is doing a forensic audit of the 2020 election ballots, seeing if they can find any sort of improprieties. And this is ridiculous. The election is over. Biden has been president for nearly a hundred days. Trump is out of office. He lost by 7 million votes. He lost by the same margin in the electoral college. He won by four years ago against Hillary Clinton. The election's done. Every single court challenge has failed. The Supreme Court won't even hear his cases 99% of the time. They won't even give him the time of day to let him lose at the Supreme Court. His cases are so bad. And yet the Republican Party in Arizona is so sycophantic that they're sort of driving this this audit and now Trump is apparently afraid that these people are in danger because they're finding the truth. They're one step away from finding the truth and Doug Ducey, the governor of Arizona, who's also a Republican, isn't doing enough to protect these brave, truthful, truth-finding patriots and they need to call in the National Guard. And I'm going to say a couple things here. One, this is hilarious. It's absolutely hilarious that Donald Trump and all of these ghouls in Arizona and all of their supporters nationwide really think they're going to find anything. They really think they're going to find thousands of ballots. They really think they're going to find even hundreds of ballots that somehow show impropriety in that election such that the state would become a Trump state and not a Biden state. Like, it's ridiculous. But this is also dangerous. We can't, the, the 2020 election isn't over. Like, we want to move beyond Trump. I would love nothing more than to move beyond Trump. But we can't move beyond him. Because so long as he uses his massive platform, even if he's not allowed on Twitter, to spread these lies and to platform these lies and to legitimize these lies, the election can't really be over. So long as people don't believe it, we're sort of trapped in that frame of mind. And this is all on top of the fact that if you look at any poll, Donald Trump is the front runner in 2024. So he's not done yet. He's complaining about the previous election and he's the Republican front runner for the next election. And this is having real world consequences. I didn't make a video on this because of the timing, but basically a judge last week denied a Trump supporter bail. One of the people that participated in the attack on the Capitol, he denied that person release pending their, their, their trial because of Trump's election lies in part. Not the only reason, but because Donald Trump and his top people around him, other influential conservatives, continue to say the lies that encourage the actions on January 6th, judges and other law enforcement officials cannot be confident there won't be further attacks and further disruptions of democracy. That so long as all of this is happening, we can't move on. We can't. It's absolutely ridiculous that this is happening. Trump deserves to be mocked. I think that we all go through a lot this last past year. We've all gone through a lot that, you know, we all enjoy a good hearty chuckle now and then. We deserve that. But let's be clear. This is a real danger to democracy. Donald Trump, even out of office, is still among the biggest threats to American democracy.